Hey guys, and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. My name is Dave, if we haven't met. Here on the channel, we've done a lot of videos on how we can get emergency heat. Now, previously, all of those kind of revolved around having natural gas or propane, but in this series, we're going to show you how you can get heat in your home with no gas, no electricity. This is all self-contained, and I'm super excited to show you guys um, these different options. All right, so number one on our list is the Big Buddy by Mr. Heater. Now, as you can tell, I've gotten some really good use out of this heater, and uh, it's not the cleanest, but a couple of features that the Big Buddy has that the other ones don't is it has two slots for one pound bottles of propane. Now, this thing is extremely easy to use. You simply turn the pilot on, set it to medium, low, or high, and that's Pretty much all there is to it. So this is an 18,000 BTU heater and just to give you some rough numbers here on low this will run for 11 hours which is fantastic. On high it'll run for about five hours. Now here are three awesome tricks in addition to this heater that you can make it work even better. Now before we get into those three tips this heater is 134 right now on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description, but that is a crazy deal. I would 100% jump on that if you're looking for some backup heat for your home. Now to get into the three things that I wanna share with you about this heater that can make it even better. Uh, the first is turning this into a potential uh, spot where you can heat up food. Now the first way you can do this is you simply pull this front cover off and then you flip it around and I don't know if this is by design, but this piece fits right inside of the handle. You bend it down and that creates a flat surface where you can set canned food, you can set anything on here. Just be mindful that you don't wanna get stuff on this ceramic because you can damage it. So don't cook anything directly on it. You can put something light like maybe aluminum foil to protect that ceramic. Now the second option is super awesome. This, you probably see what it is, but this hooks onto a bucket and it's for a paint roller so that you can get most of the paint off of your roller so you don't drip and get it everywhere. So this unmodified piece, again, fits directly inside of here and makes a really uh, durable surface that you can set, again, canned food or anything on. Now, uh, be mindful that this one is actually galvanized. So again, you wanna do like some sort of aluminum foil to keep that um, from one, contaminating your food and from two, messing up the ceramic. Now, as we discussed before, the Big Buddy heater has two one pound uh, tanks, one on each side. Now, something that makes this heater even more versatile than just having these one pound tanks is having the option to use a 20 pound propane tank. Now, all you need is a hose like this. Again, I'll put this uh, link for this in the video description. They're about $20. But as you can see, the one end goes here and the other end is for a regular propane tank and you just screw it in. Now, I highly recommend you get one of these. Uh, I'll also put a link to this in the video description, but this is a filter for liquid propane. If you don't have this and you run a 20 pound bottle, you can mess up the ceramic. So definitely pick you up one of these if you're going to be running this setup. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install this and how it uh, works and everything. All right, so first of all, we're just going to thread on our filter. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna take the one end of our hose, thread that on. And now the cool part of this is you can still close the door because of this little indention. Now we'll just hook up our propane bottle. All right, now as you can see, everything works like it should. Put that dude on high, both of these burners will light, and man, that is already baking just a second after turning it on. So you can essentially 20 times increase your capacity. And what you can also do that's amazing is you can get two of these hoses and two 20 pound tanks, and this thing will run for a very, very long time. So this is an amazing setup that you can have for a simple uh, cost of a hose 
and that little filter. And just doing some simple math, if we're able to get 10 or 11 hours on low with two one pound bottles, if we had two 20 pound bottles, we could run this heater for 200 straight hours, which is very impressive. Now this thing is on high and I have a, a little bit less than a thousand square foot home. And let me tell you, this thing will heat my house like no problem. Even if it's very cold outside, there's no electricity, no gas, this thing is amazing to have. So check out this product in the video description. And again, it's 50% off right now. It's $134, which is an amazing deal. Now, number three actually involves this uh, metal grate. And one thing I forgot to mention is that um, this touching the handle can get hot. So if you're gonna run this for a long period of time, what I would probably recommend doing is getting some exhaust heat wrap and just wrapping this portion so that it doesn't melt this handle. Now, number three, some of these older uh, Big Buddy heaters actually have a built-in fan, but this is a fantastic option. If you're trying to heat a small space and you wanna move that air around, check this out. It doesn't require any batteries. Um, this is a thermal fan. So whenever this housing gets uh, heat absorbed in it, it actually generates electricity. And as you'll see in just a moment, this fan will turn on and it'll circulate the air around the space that you're trying to heat. Now, something else to note is that you don't want to overheat this. So what you can actually do is shift this over this way a little bit more so it's not getting too, too much heat because you can overheat them and you definitely don't want to do that. So those are the three things that make the Big Buddy even more impressive than it already is. A really fantastic heater. But let's get into number two on our list and see another way that we can heat our home when we don't have electricity and gas. All right, so this is number two on our list, and this is called a Vesta by Instafire. But basically the premise is you have liquid heat. So again, you don't have to have any sort of electricity, any sort of gas. These are simply uh, canned heat. Now, these are six hour uh, containers, I believe. Yeah, six hours. Uh, these ones I actually got from Sam's Club. I got a big package of them for relatively cheap, I think under $20. So you can have heat for a very long time if you get a bunch of these cans and just keep them you know, in a safe place. Now the top half of this and what makes this really cool is that very similar to this guy, it's the same thing. As you can see, it's larger, um, but it has a thermal fan. And then it has these fins, so the heat gets trapped in these fins and then it blows it through. Now, what also makes it amazing is that this is actually a cooktop. So after we light these, we slide them back in and we have a spot where we can do emergency cooking. So this thing is super uh, versatile, um, really cool product. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lit and show you how it works and how much air gets blown out of it and at what temperature. All right, so this thing's been running for probably 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And as you can see, we got a max of 300 uh, degrees there. So we're really putting out some good heat um, and it's blowing quite a ways away. Um, the fan is very quiet. It doesn't make a whole lot of noise. So I'm actually gonna pull this off. The top of this doesn't get crazy hot. It probably would if you had it on for a long time, but I'm going to remove this and see how the cooktop works. Now, as you can see, uh, this heats up. It takes quite a bit of time to warm something like this up, especially if it was really cold to start with, but um, really nice uh, machine. For a small price of under $200, this is a really nice, uh, really nice thing to have. This is more so a emergency, really, really emergency, like just keep one room warm kind of thing. Whereas the Big Buddy heater is better for keeping a whole home warm. 
So really nice machine, uh, $150 for this product. I'll also leave a link to this. You can find it on Amazon. All right, so this is number three. Uh, this company called Vivor sent this out to me, uh, full disclosure. Um, this is a diesel heater. So you simply fill it up with diesel here. And then on the back, we've got a 12 volt uh, ground and power supply. So what we're gonna do is hook these up to some jumper cables and run them to our vehicle. And then we're gonna have this unit set outside of our window because as you can see, we have this exhaust as well as a fresh air intake. And then we'll have a flex duct that goes into the window. We'll show you how warm the temperature is there, what the noise level is, and how much square feet this can heat. So let's get this set up outside. So I just hooked this up to my wife's truck. So we've got the jumper cables, red to red, black to black. So you can do this with any vehicle. There's a little fuse there. And as you can see, we have power. Um, it says 12 volts right now. So we're gonna hit the on button. Just hold it. And then you have different heat levels. So I'm gonna max this baby out. I'm gonna go to H6. So we'll give it a minute and see what happens. Now, meanwhile, while we're waiting for that to warm up, what I have some equipment here. This window is like six feet high. So you could build something temporary to set the heater on. And then I just opened the window this much, about three inches and have the flexible duct going in. But what you can alternatively do is pick up one of these from Home Depot and you can route this from the ground, you know, up to eight feet into a window and have the same results. So we've got air coming out, it's blowing right now. Um, but this takes a while from what I understand for this to ramp up and really get going. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up in place and then we'll show you from the inside what the temperature is and how much airflow we've got. But again, it's simple as pulling the vehicle up and this will reach probably a good 10, 10 feet or more. Well guys, this is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is obviously kind of makeshift and in an emergency situation, this would work, but this guy is blowing out like a ton of heat. Uh, let's get a heat reading. I'm getting, I don't know if you can see that, but max of 148 is the max that I got. And this hasn't been running that long. So I'm willing to bet that this thing would heat my home in an emergency and it wouldn't really have any trouble doing it. As you can see, it's not very noisy. It honestly just sounds like a, a regular vent. I'm about eight feet away here and that thing is moving air. It's blowing it all the way from here. It's blowing really hard. Oh guys, I'm really happy with this. It just, this literally could heat my home. I just went and looked at the thermostat. Hey buddy. And it's at 68 and the furnace has not turned on in like, quite some time. I've had this running for probably an hour and it just is blowing hardcore. So I think this is an awesome backup heat source. This was kind of a project and uh, I'm learning this stuff for the first time. So I hope you guys found this portion of it helpful. So something else that's awesome is if you have a remote start, you literally don't even have to go outside to preserve your battery. As you can tell, you can just start it from time to time, run it for a few minutes, shut it off. And the diesel heater comes with a fob to wirelessly turn it off and on. So you don't have to go outside to turn on or off the heater as well. So really nice setup for hundred bucks. Um, I will leave that in the video description. So make sure and check it out. 
Um, again, it's just amazing that you can get this technology for such a small price tag. Well guys, I hope you found this video as enjoyful as I did in creating it. I'd been wanting to do this video on three ways to heat your home for a long time. So I was really excited to share this knowledge with you guys. If you liked it, leave it a like, consider subscribing to our channel. If you're interested in learning a very easy way to make your furnace ready for an emergency where you don't have power, but you do have gas, check out this video right here and we're gonna show you an extremely easy way to do it and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So until next time, you guys be safe and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.